Afghan goat basketball. <laughs> the sport originated when nomadic tribes spread across uh, Asia between the 10th and 15th centuries. I've seen, I've seen this before on SBS. Buzkashi oh. is oh. Afghans. Uh, the Afghanistan oh, national yeah, sport man. is often played on Fridays they whack them, after they, yeah. a long week oh, in the yeah. office. They whack them over the... Yeah, they pick them up and whack them over the... So is that an animal? Oh, hang on. What's he put it? It's a goat. Oh, it's a dead goat. Yeah. No, surely they're not holding a goat like that. That is a, a dead fake, goat. It's a fake goat. It's how actually, would you, no, how no, could you just pick up a goat like a goat. that? It's actually sponsored by the RSPCA this uh, year. This <laughs> Look at the crowd. So, oh, I, what, what, got why, cleaned up there. Why, why would they use a dead goat? I mean, there's any, any number of things you could Mate, use other than a dead goat. How could someone, and they look like little dudes, yeah. sweep down and pick up a dead goat? Like, right. surely. Here are the rules. The ball is a headless goat carcass. The objective is to get the carcass into a hole or a basket. Other versions get the goat around a flag or into a goal area. Two teams of around 10 on horseback. Um, the field <laughs> can be in an open paddock or marked field for official competitions, often 200 metres or 400 metres long. Like, seriously, what are the lines for? What do you reckon the lines come into play? Probably not at all. Yeah, zero. Wow. You know everyone's got a saying. What about the defence? Oh. oh, he's off. Oh, look at that. You know everyone's got a saying for things. Like, I'm ha you're happy as Larry or you're this. Yeah. Or that. I had a mate and he's, he's, one of his things is, I'm as horny as an old goat. What does that mean? I like the one as rare as rocking horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as horny as an old goat. I wonder if he's been watching that Afghan thing. I don't think he's been saying so. it. So he's a Roman sandal? Yeah. After having llamas. <laughs> They're very towy. Mate, they're, they're pretty hardcore, <laughs> the Afghans. Now, um, <laughs> no fear. for some reason, I've, we've got to identify a player that would dominate each of our nominees for the Fred in the Eight. Oh, Billy Slater. Oh, Billy, Billy Slater. Slater. Mate, he's mad. Have you seen him on a horse? No. He's mad. Yeah, but introducing a headless goat carcass might bring him he undone. <laughs> Mate, he'd be, he'd, he'd be good at that. He'd have to have long arms. Uh, Cohen Hess. It's Cohen Hess. Is he a There's Cohen riding a horse, 115 kilo Cohen, bending over and picking up a carcass. You've got to be little and strong. Adam Reynolds is He's got little good. arms, Billy. You've got long arms. Mate, he plays polo. That's their go. Well, the troll's got a farm. Does he ride, are they motorbikes or does he ride horses? He's on motorbikes. So he's on motorbikes. Because he's, his arms are that. You know what? There was, we've, in the NRL, we've had. I think it might be only one Afghan player, which is Omar Slimankel. Slimankel, yeah. So Omar, Omar was a refugee to New Zealand. Mm, I remember he, him playing. Yeah. He won a, the, a cracking block. He's Afghan. He won the really? block. He's Afghan, yeah. I've actually spoken to him a few times about going to Afghans, Afghanistan with the Red Cross and doing some stuff over there. So I've always wanted to go. I read The Kite Runner. You could go in there. Can you ride a horse? No. He's owned a few. You know, uh, anyway, o Omar, you're getting back. He was an incredible athlete. Yeah. He ended up coming to the Roosters, I think. Mate, he won the block, you know that. What? He oh. went on the block and won the block. On Channel 9? On Channel 9. Did he? I don't know. How <laughs> would I know? I'm sure it's him. If he would no, he's, know. So Omar is the only Af Afghan person... To play rugby league. Well, that doesn't surprise me because it's an not really. It was an incredible. It's not a national sport in Afghanistan yeah. because that the Afghan no, but horse basketball is a national sport. Naturally, there's obviously great athletes, but they are tough. Imagine how resilient. Omar Cooper did Omar. win the block. He won the block. Omar. What you know they did. The, they did acreages. Because I loved it. I loved the block. He did acreages. Him and his mate. Right. And they killed it. They did a great job. He'd be good on. He's the he's very good. Like. Watching the way, obviously, you need obviously to be able to build and do all that, but like you need a, an element of being able to design and have some taste. He was awesome. You go very good on the block with all the work you've done. If I did it with my wife, we would there would be carnies. But isn't that the whole point? Like it's a test of a relationship as well. There's no way in the world me and the wife could go on it. This year, NRL on Nine is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast, get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And of course, my favourite, Freddie in the Own. The best footy brains, 
the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL Online and get all your entertainment there.